The medium duty Ford F Series is a range of commercial trucks manufactured by Ford since 1948. Derived from the smaller F Series pickup trucks, the medium duty range is currently in its eighth generation. Initially slotted between the F Series pickup trucks and the big job conventionals, later generations were slotted below the L Series Louisville trucks. During its production, the medium duty F Series has been used for an extensive number of applications, competing against the medium duty Chevrolet, GMC C, K, International S Series, and Freightliner Business Class FL Series and M2. The current generation of the Medium Duty F Series is part of the Ford Super Duty range, consisting of the Class 6 to 7 Ford F650 and F750. Class 8 versions of the F750 have been produced since 2011. The current generation of the F650 and F750 are manufactured by Ford in its Ohio assembly facility, Avon Lake, Ohio, replacing a joint venture with Navistar International named Blue Diamond Truck Company. LLC located in General Escobedo, Mexico. Topic: First generation 1948 to 1952. For the 1948 model year, Ford introduced the F series as a dedicated truck platform. Along with replacing the trucks introduced before World War II, the F-Series expanded the Ford truck range into several product ranges. Along with light-duty trucks, the medium-duty range was slotted below the extra-heavy-duty big-job commercial trucks. The medium-duty F-Series was marketed as a 1.5-ton F5 and 2-ton F6, in both conventional and cab-over-engine configurations. The F5 and F6 also served as the basis for the B-Series bus chassis, produced primarily for school bus use. The B-Series was a bare chassis aft of the firewall. Shared with the light-duty F-Series, the F5 was powered by a 226 cubic inch inline 6 with a 239 cubic inch V8 as an option. Through 1951, a 254 cubic inch inline 6 was optional for the F6. For 1952, the 226 was replaced by a 215 cubic inch inline 6. Topic: <laughs> Second generation 1953 to 1956. Coinciding with the 50th anniversary of Ford Motor Company, the second-generation F-Series was released for 1953. Alongside the vehicle redesign, the series nomenclature underwent a revision, with the F5 and F6 becoming the F500 and F600, respectively. The medium-duty range retained both conventional and co-cab configurations, as a tractor, straight truck, or bus chassis. For 1956, F-Series medium-duty trucks shared the cab redesign of the light-duty trucks, including its wrap-round windshield and vertical A-pillars. For 1954, Ford ended production of the long-running flathead V8, replacing it with a 239 cubic inch Y-block V8. The 215 cubic inch inline 6 was expanded to 223 cubic inches. For 1956, the V8 was expanded to 272 cubic inches. Topic: Third generation, 1957 to 1960. The third generation F series was released for 1957, introducing several design features adopted by the model range for over two decades. On all versions of the F-Series, the hood became a clamshell design, the fenders were no longer separate from the cab. Following the legalization of quad headlights for 1958, the grille was redesigned, essentially eliminating its gap from the hood and bumper. In another change, the F-Series Co. was replaced by the C-Series, a tilt-cab design providing better egress and engine access. A single generation was produced until 1990. A 223 cubic inch inline 6 was offered as a standard engine. The Ford Y block was carried over from the previous generation, expanded to 292 cubic inches for 1958.
Topic: Fourth Generation, 1961 to 1966. The fourth generation F series saw the medium duty trucks adopt the larger and wider cab introduced by the pickup trucks. In place of sharing drivetrains with lighter duty Ford trucks, the medium duty Ford trucks were fitted with six cylinder and V8 engines developed specifically for truck use. The model range was expanded, with the F 750ths shifted from the heavy duty range to the medium duty range. The fourth generation marked the final generation that medium-duty trucks shared bodywork with light-duty Ford F-Series. For 1961, F-800 and above trucks were given their own fascia with a central slotted grille. Fifth generation The fifth-generation F-Series was introduced for the 1967 model year, with Ford diverging the design of its light-duty and medium-duty F-Series. To streamline production costs, medium-duty trucks and bus chassis retained the cab and hood of light-duty trucks. In place of twin I-beam suspension, a solid front axle was retained, redesigned front fenders to accommodate a wider front track and larger wheels were used. The front fascia was derived largely from the fourth-generation heavy-duty F-Series, adopting a full-width grille between the headlamps. In 1968, a Caterpillar V8 diesel was introduced, becoming the first medium-duty Ford conventional to offer a diesel engine. To distinguish diesel versions, Ford added an additional zero to the model designation, introducing the F6000 and F7000. For 1970, Ford introduced L-Series range of conventional trucks. The first Class 8 conventional truck not derived from the F-Series, the L-Series nicknamed the Louisville Line replaced the N-Series and the heavy-duty F-Series. In another change, the standalone T-Series designation for tandem axle trucks T700 and above was withdrawn. While the F900 and F1000 were discontinued, the F800 was adopted by the medium-duty range. In 1973, the medium-duty range underwent a minor exterior revision. Along with a redesign of Ford lettering on the hood above the grille, the headlamp surrounds were enlarged. Alongside a white painted grille, medium-duty trucks were offered with a chrome grille. Topic: Sixth Generation, 1980 to 1998. Topic: Seventh Generation, 2000 to 2015. For the 2000 model year, Ford introduced the medium-duty variants of the Super Duty lines to replace its F600, F700, and F800 that were discontinued in 1998. After the sale of the Aramax, Louisville truck line to Freightliner in 1997, these had been the largest vehicles produced by Ford in North America. Although they saw a minor update in 1995, the medium-duty F-Series had not seen any major changes since 1980. To decrease development costs on a new truck line, Ford entered into a joint venture with truck manufacturer Navistar International, who was looking to develop a replacement for the long-running International S-Series, 4000 Series. Named Blue Diamond Truck Company LLC, the two companies would develop their own medium-duty trucks sharing a common chassis, International would use its own engines for its truck while Ford would use off-the-shelf powertrains. International would introduce its version in 2002 as the redesigned 4000 series later the Duristar. Introduced for the 2000 model year, the all-new F650 and F750 variants of the Super Duty line followed the previous Ford tradition of using the cab from the Ford pickup line this time, the larger Super Duty models joined to a larger hood with separate fenders. The only visible part shared with previous generation models were the headlight, turn signal clusters. Along with the standard two-door cab, the crew cab was again available. 
For the first time, Ford offered the supercab on the medium-duty line. It was also available with four doors as well as all other Ford supercab trucks. While smaller Super Duty trucks received periodic updates, the only external update to the medium duty trucks was the adoption of a three slot grille in 2004. In 2012, the interior was updated. The design seen since 2000 was replaced by the design introduced in Super Duty pickups for 2011. Topic: Eighth generation, 2016 present. Introduced at the 2014 National Truck Equipment Association Work Truck Show, the 2016 versions of the F650 and F750 bring many changes to the medium-duty Super Duty range of trucks. With Ford discontinuing the Econoline van in 2014, Ford is transferring all of its medium-duty truck production from Mexico to its Avon Lake, Ohio assembly plant upon the end of van production. It will be built alongside the F53, F59 front-engine motorhome, commercial chassis. While the cab itself is carryover, the 2016 medium-duty trucks feature an all-new hood, which features a larger grille and headlights. To save costs, entirely Ford powertrains replaced the outsourced engines and transmissions, and the headlights are shared with the E-Series. In addition to the 6.7L Powerstroke V8, Ford is offering the 6.8L Triton V10 gasoline engine available to buyers, the latter will be available for conversion to propane or compressed natural gas CNG. Topic. Powertrain At its launch, the F650 and F750 were available with two diesel engines, the Caterpillar 3126 replaced by the C7 and the ISB from Cummins. For the 2010 model year, Caterpillar exited the on-highway diesel engine market, leaving Cummins as the sole engine choice. Expanded to 6.7 liters for 2007, the i6 diesel comes with eight standard and optional horsepower ratings, and two vocational ratings. In 2012, Ford introduced gasoline and gas propane engines for its duty trucks. The 6. 8L Triton V10 produces 362 horsepower, 270 kilowatts, and 457 foot-pounds force, 620 Nm of torque, and is mated to the TTC Spicer ES56 7B7 speed manual. <laughs> 